Hello everyone, it is time for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I don't know which character to pick. I mean, I, I want to stay away from the Yoshis. Since, you know, that's like easy little brother mode. Or should I just random it? Maybe I'll just random it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. See who I get. Luigi! Man, we just played a whole year as Luigi. You know what? Screw it. Let's go Daisy. We never get to play as Daisy. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. It's just a short hop away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Upon receiving an invitation from Prince Florian, Daisy and the others are traveling here for the first time. Let's -a go! Oh god, I forgot about the flowers. Hello, my friends! Let me just curtsy to you. Do the characters even perform differently? Or are they do they all have like the same properties? Hey Bowser. Yeah, I thought that they were the same. I wasn't sure though. Oops. Sorry, I'm just trying to change something on here. Oh god, it's the weed flower, the weed flower, the psychedelic flower. Bowser. Why are you causing all of this chaos? Can you imagine if all of a sudden like Chris Pratt came in and started voicing Mario and all the all the different characters came in and Mario just became I guess like the Super Mario movie. It'd be kind of weird. I wonder if we will get Mario voice acting one day. Oh god. Bowser, how could you? How could you do this? By the way, is it just me or is it really weird that Bowser transforms into a castle? Was that King B Bowser? How could he steal our wonder flower and our flower castle too? I can't believe he merged with our beautiful castle like that. It's just so awful. Bowser will make a terrible mess of our whole kingdom if we don't stop him somehow. Bowser literally became a Mario Kart course. You'll help us? Thank you! I'd like to be your guide if you don't mind. Let me just... Jump into your overalls! It's a little sus, Prince Florian. Aw, thanks. I believe in me too. By the way, happy 2024, everybody. Alright, Pipe Rock Plateau. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. Jump by pressing B. All right, we must explore everything. Guess we'll jump up here first. Hey, we did it. 
Sorry, Goombas. I'll take the extra life. Yes, elephant power. This is what I was waiting for. <laughs> Republican Daisy. Well, 2024, it is the year of the, uh, the next U.S. presidential election, so... Hey, we've already got two big coins! God, I'm scared of the, uh... What's gonna happen with the presidential election. Just wondering what's, uh, what's gonna happen, what's gonna come next for America. Nice. But it's very interesting. Like, I wonder if... Like, if Donald Trump's gonna get back on there, like, on the ballot. If uh, Joe Biden's gonna run again. Maybe we'll get somebody new. I mean, none of the candidates that I've seen so far look very promising, so... You have presidential elections in 30 days in Finland? Wasn't there some kind of, like, scandal or something with, um, the president or something of Finland? I don't remember if it was Finland or if it was, like, another Scandinavian country or something like that. I saw a pipe back here that I want to investigate. Oh, that's just another wiggly worm pipe. Hey, there's a pipe in the foreground. What does that mean? The current president is chill. Hey, we did it. Top of the flag. Not a bad start so far. D did I miss one of the 10 coins, though? If he ran for a third term, he'd probably win. Maybe I'm thinking of a different country then. Because there was something about like a female prime minister or president or something and they were like partying. And there was like a whole controversy about it or something. I don't know. I remember reading about it in the news. All right. Wonder seeds are going to be really useful on our adventure. Let's go get some more. All right, piranha plants on parade. That was definitely the prime minister. Okay. So in Finland, do you have a president and a prime minister? And I guess like, what's the difference between the two roles? Why are you here? I thought you were leading me to something. There's a 10 coin in the background there. So we're going to need to find, a, I guess, a pipe to get back there somehow. Not this one. Maybe it's this red one here? It is, like Smarties! We eat the red ones last, just like we check the red pipes last. There we go. Easy enough. So you can get over there. Yeah, I can and I did. So you can get over there. Thanks for your help, buddy. Thanks for nothing, pal. Plants, huh? as as Cause I think like in Russia they have like a a prime minister and a president as well. It's time, it's time for the... Wait, is this the song? Yeah, it is.
<laughs> you have been silenced, my friend. I don't know why, but it makes me laugh just oops, just like the song cutting out as they're as they're singing. The president is more involved in foreign affairs and he also signs the law into action after the parliament has voted upon something. Then what is the role of the prime minister? You don't see that every day. You got that right. All right, well, I guess we'll just run to the end. I don't know if, like, I just find foreign politics to be kind of interesting because, like, we don't have that. In Canada, we just have a prime minister. In the U.S., they only have a president. So I find countries that have both roles to be kind of... I don't know, it's just, it's interesting. The prime minister leads the government, which preferably is a majority... And they can win this majority to pass whatever laws they want to. Okay. I mean, yeah, so that's basically what we have here. But, um... Yeah, we don't have a president. The Prime Minister, I guess, just does everything. We have a Governor General, though. Who, uh... Deals with the Queen and stuff like that. The, the Commonwealth. Dang it, I didn't want a mushroom. Oh, well. Ow. Well, he's dead. Why is this pipe here? Yes, give me the elephant. Noise. By the way, I want to try and 100% this game if I can. I don't know what that entails exactly, but I'm going to try my darndest. Nice, we got ourselves a, our first 10 coin. You like Peach better? I saw that you were playing as Peach in your playthrough. I mean, how often do you see Daisy in a game to begin with? That's basically why I chose Daisy over anybody else. Alright, checkpoint. My god, another mushroom. God dang you! No! No, I would need an elephant, I think. Can I break it with a shell? Yeah, I can. Booyah. How do you count votes there? Or how do you determine who gets into Parliament? So, basically, each section of Canada is broken up into a, well, a different section. And the way that it works is you vote for who you want to, I guess, lead your area of the city. And then that person gets a seat in Parliament, and whatever political party has the most seats is the leader of that party is the one who becomes the leader of the country. So, for example, our Prime Minister right now is Justin Trudeau, and he is Prime Minister because he's the head of the Liberal Party who won the most seats in the previous election. So we've got our Liberal Party, we've got our Conservative Party, those are the two big ones. We also have NDP, who is, they are like, a, I guess, a more socialist party. And then we have, like, other parties. There's um, the Green Party, there's a Communist Party, there's the People's Party, which is very, very 
right wing, I think. They're way more conservative than the conservatives. But essentially, the big three are liberal, conservative, and NDP in Canada. All right, what's going to happen next? Oh, ho, ho, isn't this fun? The flower castle is me and I'm the flower castle. So much wonder power. I can feel myself getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Soon everything will be mine. Gwa ha ha ha. That no good Bowser, I won't stand for his antics. We've got to get him somehow. Uh, let's use that propeller flower up ahead to catch up. Let's do it. Ride the propeller flower. Get back here, Bowser. Or, you know, just create some more obstacles for us. That's fine as well. Dun dun dun. Oh yeah, my dad's a castle now. Nobody's going to be able to stop him now that he's all powerful. Hey. <laughs> the electoral system, for example, here we use... I don't know what that says. I'm not sure what you're referring to then. This is getting worse and worse. And look at the plant coiled around that house over there. Hey, I've got it. Let's try using our Wonder Seeds. I bet that'll fix it. They're really powerful. Alright, let's do this. Badge House in Pipe Rock Plateau. Oh, is this our first badge? Is everything alright in here? I was so scared, I thought I'd wilt on the spot, but I'm glad I was here to keep this badge safe. Oh yeah, badges. They have lots of different effects. People who travel through the Flower Kingdom like using them. Um, Prince Florian, if I could be so bold, would you accept this gift from me? I'm sure someone as princely as you will know how to use it best. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted to wear one of these. I can use the power of this badge to help everyone. That brings a bloom to my heart, Prince Florian. I'm happy that you're pleased. Badges will take some trouble out of your travels. This way. Holy cutscenes, Batman. <laughs> Training ground. While in midair, press R, shake the controller to open your hat, and float slowly downwards. Like so! Was I supposed to get all the coins? I mean, I might as well. I gotta say, that arc is very misleading for what the parachute hat act actually does. The total votes cast for each party in the electoral district is divided. First by one, then by two, then by three, up to the total number of seats to be allocated for the district. I still don't understand what that means. Like, I'm reading it and I'm trying to make sense of it, but I'm not doing very well. <laughs> I'm sure it was a decent explanation. I'm just not very knowledgeable about politics. Oh, look at this place. There's so much to see, but... There's another one of those icky plants. We're gonna need more wonder seeds. So where do you think we should head first? If you want to have a look at the map, just press L. Guess we'll go up here first. Bull Rush coming through. Come at me, bruh. He's a little dazed and confused. 
Or should I say a little daisied and confused? <laughs> oh man. Okay, so they can be killed, if need be. Thank you, sir. I will take my 10 coin and be on my way. Holy crap! <laughs> I was not expecting to ride him like that. That's what she said. I did watch part of your part 2 video, Bowser. I didn't watch the whole thing because I didn't want to be spoiled, but... I did watch a little bit of it. Checkpoint! I do like how this is a more casual... Jeez! Um, I do like how this is more of a casual game where you're like not worried about timing or anything like that. Okay, so this one can't go down. That must have just been, I guess, a special one. Oh, I wonder what this glowing block is. Perhaps... Wait, do I need an elephant, or is there going to be another one of those bullrush thingies? Wow, triple kill. Ow. Oh, it's the Wonder Seed. Oh god, it's a stampede. There's a 10 coin. Well, see ya. We got the Wonder Seed. Okay, so we definitely missed, like, what, two 10 coins in this level? I am going to probably go back and get them at some point. I'm just not sure when. I'd rather progress right now. Oh, there's three Wonder Seeds in this level. Oh, maybe one for the, like, I guess the regular exit. 